Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today we'll try to understand how to migrate a workload to a different machine type in Google Kubernetes engine. For example, let's take a scenario. I have a Kubernetes cluster and each Kubernetes, so it is having a, it's a three node Kubernetes cluster and each virtual machine is a G1 small virtual machine. You can just click on that and you can get the details of that. The requirement which I have now is I want to run it on a different machine type. So if you scroll down here, you will see each node is G1 small. I want to have a powerful virtual machine uh, node. That's my requirement one. The second requirement which I have is if I just click on uh, the machine type details, I will come to know what are the permissions I am allowed. Say for example, if I have a requirement, the pod should connect to a Cloud SQL instance. The access scope has to be enabled. So this is disabled. So I have two requirements now. How can I achieve it? So some people may think, uh, can it be possible just by doing, adding a new node pool? That is something may look like it may work, but it may not work. I can show you that by just clicking on add new node pool. Just click on add new node pool. In add new node pool, you can give something like powerful. Powerful. This is to indicate we will have a high powerful machine. That's one thing. And let's assume we from N from G1 small, we want to upgrade it to N1 standard one. So one vCPU, 3.75 GB of RAM. But if you see, you'll never get an option to update your access scope when you are adding a new node pool from the GUI. You don't see that option. You can check it out. You will not be able to get it. So the only solution which you can have is anyway, let's let me cancel this. This is not going to work. So the only option which you can do is do it in command line. So everything is detailed in this document. Um, so you can see step by step. What I have done is for the benefit of the demo, I have tried to create a, create a script where I mentioned what is my old existing node pool, which is which is named as default. That's what you see default. OK, let me make it as default pool. That is the one. And the new pool is called as let me make it as powerful pool because we will have uh, N1 standard one. That's the thing. So this is the command which will add you add a new set of node pool. And the most important thing is this part access scope. And one of the important thing which I required uh, in the requirement is to enable Cloud SQL. So this is the access scope which has to be enabled and we did not get an option to do that in the GUI. Now, if you have already an existing workload, uh, what you can do is you can call down that tick and then drain it by using these commands. And once you have done with it, you can delete those existing old node pool. In this case, it is named as powerful pool. So by almost like running a 30 lines of script, you should be able to achieve what you want. So that's what we are going to do in the next few minutes. So let me just show my cloud shell environment. If we just run it, we should be all good. Let me run it. So there'll be few warnings, it's okay. And you see immediately it is started creating the powerful pool, which is N1 standard. Once it is done, we should have our updated, we should have a new node pool, plus we should have the access scope for accessing our Cloud SQL instance. So that's the most important thing based on our requirement. So let's wait for a minute or so. So the the powerful node pool is created. That's what you see. Now there are three nodes. Those are called and drained and now it should be getting deleted soon. That's what we see in the logs. So let's wait for a few more minutes. OK, you see that it's evicted. Now you should be able to see the process getting ended soon. So almost every process is done. The last part is it is saying, uh, should I uh, delete this this thing? The default one. So it's giving me it's asking me a prompt. Let me give yes and it should get deleted. 
and once it is deleted we should be left over only with our powerful pool which is having n1 standard so let's wait for some more minute now the default pool is successfully deleted we are left with our powerful pool so looks like our script has executed successfully fine so we should be able to achieve what we wanted in the script so let me just show the script again which made the things very very simple we created an updated a, a new pool with the access scope which we wanted cloud sql access scope then we called on it drained the existing uh, default pool and lastly we deleted it so let's go back to our screen keep an eye on this access scope which was currently disabled in default pool now let's see if we refresh the screen whether we'll get the updated one so let me refresh the screen to check to just make it sure that everything is up and running now what i have done is from uh, three node three node cluster i have just made it as one node cluster that's one thing and the machine type has changed now it's not three now it's one in the machine type from g1 we have changed to n1 standard now the most important thing is if we go inside the cluster and look into the permissions of those uh, access scope if i click on permissions we should see cloud sql enabled this was the most important thing which we wanted and if you see the default pool is removed and what we have is n1 standard so this is how you can change make sure even if you have an existing workload you can migrate it to a different machine type for by following this uh, tutorial it's a nice tutorial i would say so that's the information which i wanted to share today hope the concept is helpful please let me know in the con in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific gcp concept i'm happy to do that thanks for watching